Hello, this is Neil Walters with Neil's Videos, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can resize pictures using a tool called No Crop. So if you're using Tumblr or various social media sites, then you might need to resize your pictures. Here's the example of the site I use. It's called Empower, which is actually a way to make money online, and I actually have other videos on my site about Empower if you want to go watch those. <clears throat> so you can see down here, if you have a this is called a landscape picture, right? If it's wider than it is high, that's called landscape. And if it's portrait, then basically your pictures can kind of get awkward. Let me show you one down here. Well, actually, I'll show you the results of using no crop. So just a second. I had a lot of landscape ones the last couple of days. Okay, here's one. This Jeep or Mercedes Jeep, whatever it's called. So you see that little gray area on the side? This photo has been, has been resized. And you see there's a little bit of jagged line below, meaning it's still just a little bit too tall for this social media platform, but it's close enough. Had I not put this border on the size, it might have cut the Jeep off like halfway, and then they would have to open it, and it still might be cut off. So basically what we want to do is take a tall picture and square it. So this is a program I use called Total Commander. That's not the purpose of this video today. And you can see here, I'm just looking for a picture I want to post. So let's say I want to post a picture of this lady. So I want to just hit the magic keys there to get the URL, not the URL, but the place on the disk where that picture is. And I'm going to go to my Windows system. I am using Windows, not Mac here. So sorry, this is a Windows tool. And I open this tool called No Crop. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to resize it. Maybe I can't. Yeah. Okay, let me resize it a little bit, but not totally. So this is a Windows app, which means you can download it from like the Windows Store, whatever that's called. And it puts it on your computer, <clears throat> and it is free. The only thing is it's ad-driven, and it's not as professional as I'd like it to be, but it has solved the uh, need that I have. So let me scroll. I have to just move it up a little here. You can see the, these are their buttons at the bottom, which are not terribly explanatory. So I want to click this one. <clears throat> and then what I do is I just paste in the where my picture is on my disk. And then it basically loads that picture into the tool. So that's what it looks like. And now at the bottom, you're going to see some different buttons. And I'm going to click the accept. And now you see it basically added those nice little blurry borders. So what it does, it takes kind of like an average of the colors that are in the picture, and then it makes that nice little blur there. And then I basically hit the Save button at the bottom. And then once again, I paste the name of the picture file, but <clears throat> it's going to add .jpg on the end. So right now it's a JPG, which is type of JPEG, but it's actually going to call, I don't know why it's not a, it's not a bitmap, B, bitmaps are BMPs, but anyway. So I'm just going to take off that, and I'm going to put, uh, since I've been posting this on Empower, I put EM on the end of it to remind, you, remind me that it's been readied for Empower, and then I just click Save. And then this is where they try to get you to say thank you for using the app and all that. Just hit Cancel. And then if you need to do another one, here's the secret. You click Back, and then Cancel, and then you're back to the home page, and you could do another one. If you don't do anything for, like, Two or three minutes you'll have to close the program and reopen it that's just the way it is so now we go back here now in total commander you see here's the uh, resized picture and now i can basically go take that grab its picture name and then i'm going to go post it on empower so here i'm going to say post whoops i did something wrong uh, click add photos upload <clears throat> and then click that Paste that, I mean. There's the picture. Give it a, about three or four seconds to load fully. Now it's there, and I click that. Oops. And now my picture is loaded. So anyway, that's how I upload skinny, narrow pictures to Empower, and I find it's pretty fast and easy, and I like the tool. So hope you enjoyed that. Hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. This again is Neil at neilsvideos.com. I have other interesting videos on all kinds of topics there on how to tech videos and how to make money videos. So please join me there. See you later.